Since spring of 2022, the Bank of Canada has been raising interest rates to control inflation, making things tough for customers and businesses. Now, Governor Tiff Macklem and his team are shifting gears. They want the economy to grow. The Bank of Canada's new goal is to bring inflation back to the 2% target while fostering economic growth. Governor Macklem emphasized the need for job creation and economic activity to absorb excess supply and stabilize inflation sustainably. This is a significant change from the past two years where the primary focus was on curbing inflation. Now there is a concern about the economy slowing down too much and inflation falling below target, suggesting that the Bank of Canada might reduce borrowing costs more quickly. Macklem repeatedly made the point that he wants the bank policy to be symmetrical in its relationship between managing inflation downwards to 1-3% to target rates and assuring that the economy is also growth-oriented moving as close as it feasible to full employment. The concern most recently is that growth is stagnating and thus the cut in interest rate is designed to pivot monetary policy back in the direction of enhancing growth. Over the past six months, GDP growth has been lower than expected and unemployment has risen to 6.4% from 4.8% two years ago. Both business and consumer confidence are low. The Bank of Canada expects economic growth to improve in the second half of the year, partly due to anticipated lower borrowing costs. While maintaining restrictive interest rate due to above-target inflation, the Bank of Canada aims to move towards a neutral policy stance sooner rather than later. Neutral or symmetrical, that's it, between fighting inflation and encouraging economic growth. When inflation rose to 2.9% in May, there was speculation about the Bank of Canada posing its rate curve. However, with inflation dropping to 2.7% in June and a weakening labor market, the Bank of Canada cut rates again, as expected. The main question now is how quickly and by how much the Bank of Canada will continue to cut rates. Somewhat uncharacteristically, Macklem noted that if inflation continues on its downward trajectory, more interest rate cuts can be anticipated. But ultimately, policy will be guided by the data as they present themselves over the next two months. The recent rate cut by the Bank of Canada is not expected to significantly affect home buyers or those renewing their mortgages in the short term. A quarter percentage point decrease in the central bank's rate will slightly lower variable mortgage rates, but it may not affect the bond market, which influence fixed mortgage rates. One important aspect to consider when interest rates are falling is the prepayment penalty on fixed rate mortgages. If homeowners need to break their mortgage early due to moving, divorce, or financial issue, lenders charge a fee to compensate for the lost interest. For fixed rate mortgages, the penalty is typically the greater of three months' worth of interest or the interest rate differential, which depend on the remaining balance and the difference between the original rate and the current rate. As interest rates fall, interest rate differential penalty can increase significantly. It's crucial for those shopping for a fixed mortgage rate to understand how lenders calculate their interest rate differential penalties. Some big banks use complex formulas that can lead to steep charges, while many credit unions and online banks use simpler, less expensive methods. During the pandemic, many homeowners who broke their fixed rate mortgages face hefty penalties. Although rates aren't falling as rapidly now it's wise to ask lenders about their interest rate differential calculations to avoid unexpected costs. The Bank of Canada's shift in focus towards economic growth while managing inflation marks a new phase in the monetary policy. Understanding the implication of interest rate changes and prepayment penalties is essential for consumers navigating the current financial landscape. Whether you're buying, selling, or just love exploring real estate options in Toronto, I've got plenty more to share. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like my channel and subscribe for more real estate tips. See you in the next video.